okay, pastoral teams and ministry teams, once you've bought into the system, you know, hopefully you've been through lesson one, you've you've talked about it, you're buying into the system, you say, yeah, I want to use the tools to create a discipleship culture. Now it's time to move on to building up the infrastructure of your church. See, we believe that there, there are these three basic components that you need to understand and begin to do the difficult work of building up the infrastructure. It's going to take a while. A discipleship culture isn't built overnight, so you really have to have some grit and be committed to, to you know, the system and the process and build up these three basic components of a discipleship infrastructure. And the first thing is to build up parents. We believe that parents are pastors in the home, but most parents don't feel equipped to pastor, to mentor their kids. And so that's why we have the kids resources and the youth resources to equip parents to, to be you know empowered to spiritually lead their kids. Deuteronomy 6 talks about this. It says, you must commit yourselves wholeheartedly to these commands that I'm giving you today. Repeat them again and again to your children. Talk about them when you're at home and when you're on the road, when you're going to bed and when you're getting up. And so Moses is giving the Israelites this instruction. He's saying this, parents, you have to do this at home. Don't just do it all. Don't just make me do it all. Moses, you have to do this at home. You have to talk about it with your kids. So one of the things you can do that is promote what we call family talk. Click on the kids link and you'll see that. Promote family talk, you know, family devotionals, family time every week. Make sure you're promoting that in kids church. In our kids church materials, promote that and make sure that you're promoting that also from the stage. And so you've got to build up those parents to be mentors. And then the second thing is to build up group leaders. Small groups are the organizational key to a discipleship culture. And what that means is that the small group leaders, in essence, they sort of serve as mini pastors. You know, pastor, when, you're, when your church grows to 100 plus people, you can't personally care for those people. So you break them into small groups. And then each small group leader and the co-leaders, those people are like the pastoral team for that group of people. And so what you're doing is you're taking those people off your plate so you don't have to stress out about their pastoral care in a real, you know, week by week way, you know, because your small group leaders are taking care of that. This is what Jethro was talking about in Exodus 18 when he told Moses, what are you really accomplishing here? Why are you trying to do all of this alone while everyone stands around you from morning till evening? See, there was a real organizational problem in, in, for the Israelites at that point. And Jethro said, hey, you need to get some structure here or you're going to burn yourself out and the people aren't going to have any fun either. And so this is what small groups are. It's that organizational structure so that pastors, as you raise up and train up your small group leaders and promote small groups, every person that you get into a small group, and not everyone will join a small group, but the people that you can get into small groups, hey, they're going to be cared for and they're going to be shepherded. They'll have a chance to truly be mentored in that small group setting. So make sure you're promoting small groups and use small group training in our library to train and raise up those small group leaders. And then here's the third thing, build up mentors. Now again, when we say mentors, we mean individual people who are personally willing and able and they have the time to walk alongside one or two or three or sometimes even more people and personally help them pursue God week by week, have those intentional conversations. Again, our resources online, all of those resources online are there to equip mentors to speak the truth in love so they don't have to make things up. They can use our flex method. They can, again, if you bring them through mentor training, you're going to train your mentors up and pretty soon you're going to have a workforce of mentors that you can get in the game. And again, Every, just like with small groups, every person that you can get connected to a mentor is one more person that you don't, pastor, you don't have to personally be stressed out about and worry about, you know, uh, helping to pursue God because, because you've equipped the mentor, that individual disciple maker to help that person. And they're going to have so much more time and ability to pray for that person and share the truth and love with that person and meet with that person week in and week out. And pretty soon, your mentor is going to disciple somebody. And because of the system and because of the simplicity of the tools, 
that mentor is going to reproduce himself and the person that he's mentoring is now going to be a mentor for the next person down the road. And see, this is how a discipleship infrastructure really takes root, is when you're raising up mentors one by one. Now, it's going to take a while. Again, it doesn't happen overnight. But if you take the time to build up parents and group leaders and mentors, you'll have the infrastructure for a discipleship culture in your church that will truly be viral. Now go ahead and use the resources below and talk about this concept with your pastoral team or your ministry leaders.